Hey loves, it's Kyle August, and today we're going to talk about how to manifest communication with your specific person, even when in no contact, because I can guarantee you, whether you believe it or not, your specific person is thinking about you right here, right now, in this moment. And the first thing we actually want to do is get rid of this belief that our specific person is not thinking about us, or they can't text us, because really... Who is saying your specific person can't text you right here in this moment or ask you out on a date later today or tomorrow? Because truly, these are manifestations that have already happened and have occurred on this channel. And second, we want to ask the question or challenge the belief of what does communication have to do with your manifestation? Why do you feel you have to be constantly in contact with your specific person in order to make them fall in love with you? Because I'll tell you a little secret, that is not the case. You do not need to be in constant communication with your specific person in order to manifest them. They are already right now obsessed with you, loving you, and desiring you. And it is only the connection that we feel when we're not in communication that they are not desiring us that's the problem. So instead, focus on your state and your way of being. That's what's going to make your specific person show up in your reality and be obsessed with you, fall in love with you, and have the perfect relationship with you that you've always desired. Because let me ask you a little question. Do you think someone could make you fall in love with them just by talking with them, right? Just them talking to you. Do you think that they could convince you to care about them or love them? And in essence, you're going to say, well, no, right? It depends on who they are or what they're being. And keep in mind, then your answer to that question is the same thing that we want to think of when we're manifesting our specific person. It's not your communication that makes them love you. It's who you are. It's that state of being. It's that essence within yourself. And this is actually why manifestation is so much easier than we're making it, because a lot of the times we focus on external events, thinking we have to do this, we have to do that we have to impress our specific person be this type of individual do certain things give them gifts but all of that external action just makes us feel like we have to put in more time more work and more effort but that's not the case because if that were true how are people manifesting text during videos and i even have a few a three different success stories that i'll show you in this video later that talk about an example like that if that's the case if you need to be talking to your specific person if you need to impress them to make them like you then how are people manifesting instantaneously in videos just by changing their state and this is again remembering disconnect any belief that you need to be talking with your specific person to make them obsessed with you. And I know this sounds strange because this whole video is about manifesting communication, but if we can keep that in mind, we won't have the thought process that we need communication for them to want to be with us because we accidentally run into a paradox in this way of thinking. Because if we're thinking we need to be talking to our specific person in order for them to like us, but they won't text us unless they like us, then we run into this paradox where we're constantly thinking our external reality has to change before we do. But that's not the way of manifestation. Manifestation is all about our internal state and the assumptions we have on our reality. And once we change that, then our specific person begins to show up automatically. More or less, we're basically connecting success to our external reality accidentally, but success has everything to do with how you're feeling right now. And yes, this means you, you can definitely manifest a text from your specific person, no matter how long you've been in no contact in this video right now, there's literally nothing stopping you because remember who is saying that they're not thinking about you in this moment, right? Whatever you think your specific person is doing, whatever you think they're thinking, whatever you think their assumptions are about you are your own assumptions because your specific person in this moment could be like, wow, I just Imagine just reminiscing about your dates, your texts, um, about you. If you don't, if you've never been in contact with this specific person, they could have this divine guidance to just reach out to you for no reason, to look you up, right? There's a million different ways in which we can go from where we are to where we want to be, and we don't want to connect and think only a specific logical path is going to make it happen because your specific person is thinking about you right now and the connection to making that true and manifesting that text is to assume it in this moment because everything is connected to our assumptions and truly we're not going to be able to see the state or the outcome of what we want 
unless we're in the state of it first. So right now, if this idea that receiving a text in this video seems outrageous, crazy, or impossible, again, you've seen success stories on this channel that show people doing that, but if that still feels impossible, it's only because of the state that we're in. So the first thing I would do is actually try to alter that state. Do anything that's going to make you more in alignment with the end of already being with your specific person. That is the most important factor. And most people completely forget about this and make their manifest manifestations more difficult. Really manifestation isn't difficult, but it can feel that way because we're attempting to take action when not in a state that aligns with what we want. It's like thinking or asking an individual who might be in poverty, how to make a million dollars they would be so confused, they'd be so worried, they'd be so stressed out, and all of their actions and answers they would feel would be moving towards a state of wealth, but would in reality be reflecting their state of being, which would be in poverty. And thus, when we are in these states of, where's my communication, I'm in no contact, I need to get contact, that state, again, paradoxically, produces more of the less communication. But if instead you took a moment and thought, what am I going to feel, assume, and be in my end state? If I received constant communication from my specific person at this moment, how would I feel? How would it feel to have my phone absolutely blowing up with messages from my specific person? How would you feel? What would you do if, again, your phone has just been blowing up with messages from your specific person? What are you going to do throughout the day? How are you going to feel? Does it feel as if you need to do anything? Does it feel as if you need to change anything? And you say, absolutely not. Are you concerned or worried about what actions to take? Again, you're going to say, no, absolutely not, because I already have exactly what I want. And again, it sounds paradoxical because a lot of the times we think, well, I don't want to feel that way until I receive the text messages. But then our state of being is just producing a reality that relies or creates no communication. And I can't tell you this enough that your specific person in this moment, what they're thinking, what they're doing, the actions that they're about to create or um, perform for you is exactly up to your imagination. And I know I've asked this, I think in another video, but what would you say your specific person is thinking about you in this moment? And that's going to have a massive massive impact on how they're going to show up. And yes, it doesn't matter if you've been in a month of no contact, a week of no contact, a year with no contact, or a decade with no contact. There literally is no limit to what this can do. Because I've had people in every single timeline or time frame that you can imagine manifest their specific person, manifest communication in very odd and strange ways that you would say are impossible due to normal logic, but make absolutely perfect sense when it comes to manifestation. So before you try to change anything in your external reality, change yourself because your reality is just reflecting exactly who you are. But let me go into a couple different success stories. Yes, I have three of them today. I know they're very quick. They're all kind of comments on videos. So all stuff that you can do. I think one um, one was a message to me. So the first one I'll put up on the screen, this person commented on one of my videos and they were, oh my God, he texted me after four months of no contact. Anyone who might be in four months of no contact would be thinking, what's going on? My specific person isn't thinking about me, right? All of these negative assumptions. But just by switching those assumptions, we see a massive difference in the outcome that we're occurring. And so let me not just give you one example. Let me give you another one. So this person messaged me, or Kyle, my SP messaged me, telling me he wants to call me and meet up with me after being in no contact and blocking me for weeks. I'm so happy. Thank you. So this person was not only in no contact, but blocked. So where are all these circumstances that you feel are in between you and your manifestation? If it's no contact, we're proving that that's not the case. If it's being blocked, again, that's not the case. Your reality and your subconscious mind work in ways that go above and beyond our current logical thinking. And so that's what we need to keep in mind, that even though our logical mind thinks it makes no sense that they're not thinking about us. It's been weeks. It's been months. That doesn't matter because it's only the state that you're coming from that's making you feel that way. If you are feeling down, depressed, sad, worried, fearful, all of that, of course it's going to feel very strange for your specific person to reach out after four months or a year of no contact or while being blocked, right? But if we change that state into something more positive, abundant, loving, kind, then it makes sense because look at you. 
Why would anyone want to be in no contact with you? Why would anyone want to be have you be blocked, right? That makes absolutely no sense, but it all comes from the state. And then last but not least, I have one other um, success story that came from my manifest a text in 30 seconds video. And so this person wrote, this is really scary, which is funny. I got the message as soon as I felt it. I'm actually shaking because it's been a year with no contact. So we go from four months, weeks, being blocked and a year of no contact. And each one of these individuals manifested again, in no contact. And we're able to do this even though there was all of these circumstances, all of these fears, all of these worries occurring. And it just happened in one of the videos. And one, one I believe the, the second one was from a coaching session. But either way, everything is just from the mindset, the thought process of being with your specific person already. So think about that. And I love that they termed it or described it as being scary because it is a scary phenomenon because when you realize the power that you have in your reality, you're gonna be able to switch and change everything you want in the quickest possible way. But so the first thing we would wanna do, again, to just review, focus on your state, ask yourself, who says your specific person can't text you right now? And then also ask yourself, why does communication, what does communication have anything to do with my manifestation? Why do I feel my specific person can only care about me, love me, desire me if we are in communication? And when you focus on all those three, you are gonna make, just make sure to comment your success stories when you get them down below. As well as your successes, if you did have any questions on anything we talked about, make sure to comment them there as well. Again, you can also reach out to me on my website at kyleaugustcoaching.com. That's where you can send me a personal message if you need. Thank you so much for stopping by today, and I can't wait to see you in my next video.